Hey guys, it's me, Golden Empire Productions, or Hunter here. And uh, today, I'm back with Rango. And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but he's a whole lot more healthy. And uh, also very, very upset. I'm going to show you how to deal with Iguana aggression. He is very angry with me right now for, like, no reason. So, you know, he will snap at me if I get any more close. Don't try not to do that too much, though, unless you just want to make sure. So this is how you deal with it to make your lizard happy. Uh, relatively quick, really easy method. Um, you want to do this about every day for, uh, and just until he gets it. It might take a couple days, a couple weeks, maybe even months if your iguana is very hard to tame. This one is um, uh, not that hard to tame it's from what I've seen. Um, this is Rango. He's in really great shape. This is his cage. And um, I'm going to show you basically how you do this um, the proper way or the way that works the best for me. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to is not going to like this, but you're going to hold it, hold him by its tail. Oh, sorry, he's trying to get in his cage. So um, you want your iguana positioned in any way you can hold him around your hand if he's this small. If he's bigger, this method may not work for you. But anyways, so what you're going to do, oops, this is the best position. So what you're going to do is you're just going to hold him underneath his dewlap. You're just going to kind of rub there and you're going to want to hold his tail. The, the whole time and just pet him like this it's very simple um you, you can already see his eyes are like widening up being less mean but if you do notice he still wants to snap at me so uh you're just gonna want to pet him a little bit um right now he's filled up with air just to make him look a little bit bigger but you're just gonna rub right here uh, right behind his little head and then on his head and that usually works the best for me in my experience uh once he goes to sleep that means he does trust you or not sleep you know when he closes his eyes that means he does probably trust you right now he's a little bit curious so we're just going to do this for a couple minutes i'm going to show you the whole tutorial and i want to mention guys if um your iguana is harder to tame this one is pretty calm once you get him uh, calm. <laughs> I know it doesn't make much sense, but once you get him to this point, he should be fine. But if your iguana is harder to tame, you might want to put food in his mouth just to know that you don't care about his negative behavior. And at first it might seem that you're rewarding his negative behavior if he like goes to snap at you. But I promise you, you aren't actually rewarding it. it they just know that their negative behavior isn't affecting anyone. So Rango actually just fell asleep. Uh, he's starting to trust me a little bit more. I'm gonna keep petting him. Uh, and also I wanna mention guys, if you, um, before you do do this, make sure your iguana knows that you're not a threat. Cause if you do hold his tail, if he thinks that you're a threat, then he can drop it or he or she can drop it. Um, and you don't want that cause they will never regrow the same. He's never lost his tail. But it's very brown in places, and it's getting better. But Rango needs his tail. <laughs> he won't look the same without it. Now you're going to see. He's trying to get back in his cage. So, so now you're going to see uh, if this did anything. Okay. Rango is still not the best. Just remember, guys, these little guys are like little dinosaurs right if you don't train them correctly then they'll never learn they're going to feed off negative behavior and feed off incorrect training and feed off basically your weaknesses with them so you got to be really dominant uh just don't be aggressive with them and they shouldn't be aggressive with you rango is just really young and i want to teach him from an early age he's about seven months old about 22 23 inches long at this point um very very sweet but I, I still gotta still gotta make sure and I don't want him to be aggressive in the future when he becomes an adult so he just fell asleep again I'm gonna fucking focus on that we're just gonna kind of rub him more and basically once he wakes up we're gonna see if he's gonna want to bite me he still does a little bit it's slightly better than it was before so I'm going to rub his dewlap. Yeah. 
the only thing I can sh- I can't stress enough is don't be aggressive with it, with him, and don't show fear. If if you show fear, because if they're babies when they bite, it doesn't hurt. Like I would get bit by him for you guys, but um, he's he's like, you know, if if I do get bit, he will do it multiple times, and it wouldn't be good. But I do I can assure you that I've been bit by him before, and it does not hurt. Like it, it might sting for a little bit. But then in like two seconds, it's gone. So it's really, it just depends on your iguana's age and how big he is. Don't show fear. That's that's the only thing I can't stress enough. Don't show fear and don't be too aggressive with them. You got to find that good middle ground and just basically show him you're the boss. But also show him that you're you're nice and friendly and don't let him be the boss of you. So now we're going to see. There we go. That's how you deal with it. You're going to want to do this every day. And once he gets better, you're just going to keep doing it. Parango is actually nice and happy now. I'm very relaxed. Um, If you're going to still not relax after about 20 to 30 minutes of doing this, then uh, give him a bath. Nice warm bath. Um. Just barely over body temperature, uh, just because they are cold-blooded and, uh, you know, they, they don't need too hot water, but they don't need cold at all. So make sure it's just above body temperature, about 100 degrees is perfect, uh, 100 to 105 probably. So eh, about, I don't know, in my bathtub it's about halfway, so that's a little tip for you guys, I don't know. You're going to have to experiment with your own, obviously. But anyways, um, that's how you do it. He's actually probably gonna fall asleep but (laughs) this is how you basically show that you're the boss and also showing him that you're not gonna hurt him this is my best way of doing it and yeah i'm gonna let him go back in his cage now and just let him chill out just just be wary once you put an iguana down basically their mood resets but when you pick them back up um they should go back to what you were doing before thank you guys for watching if we can Let's smash 15 likes for this video for um, Rango here. He's been pretty good for this video. Got me a good tutorial. So uh, if you can, please smash the like. Um, let's try to hit 15 likes on this video. Uh, my last Iguana video did really well. Uh, I think got 13 likes. And this video will blow up. <laughs> I'm like literally, I know it will blow up. I'll see you guys next in the next episode. Say goodbye, Rango. Okay, he's, he's, he says goodbye.